Welcome to Ubuntu Viewcast. In this episode, I'm going to show or demonstrate how to configure an easy to set up to share files and folders that everybody can access, Windows and Linux alike, with Samba. Alright, um, in order to set um, up a share on Samba, we have to edit a file called smb.conf. And um, before I uh, show you that file, I like to change over to a super user console so I don't have to uh, type in my password every time I want to change a system file. And to do that, we enter sudo bash and hit enter. And now we're on a, a root console on that particular machine. And um, another thing we have to do is we have to create a folder we want to share out to all the other Windows or maybe Linux machines. Um, to do that, we enter mkdir m 777. That means permissions for everybody to read, write, and uh, execute files on that share. Not very secure, but um, you can deal with that on your own a little bit later on with permissions. All right. Then we enter the path, and I'm going to use a, a folder called share. Hit enter, and that folder has been created. Let's have a look on SRV, and you see here it's created with all rights, and the owner is root, and the owner group is root as well. Okay, so with this done, we go ahead and edit our. Uh, smb.conf file which is located under etc samba smb.conf enter and uh, for everybody who watched my uh, earlier video about setting up a windows uh, or setting up a printer uh, accessible for windows uh, machines um, this is uh, the same configuration file I used and we go ahead and modify that a little bit and create another share to it. So I did already some prep work here. Um, let's go through those uh, sections and directives in this file so you understand a little bit more uh, what we're doing here. So the first section is the global section. Each section or share starts with a name in square brackets. Global can't be changed. It has to be there otherwise it won't work right. Then the next one is workgroup, which uh, specifies the workgroup or domain if you're going, going to set up a domain control with Samba. The next one is a NetBIOS name. The NetBIOS name is the name that will be shown in the network neighborhood. You know, if you remember, if you browse with your Windows machine through the network neighborhood, the names you see there are NetBIOS names. The next one is the server string, which is a descriptive uh, information on that particular machine. And then a very important part here is security. Security is set here uh, for our purposes to share, because we don't want to ask for any usernames or passwords. Just want to have it accessible for everybody. If you like, like me, want to share out some bigger files within a family without using a USB thumb drive or emailing it. You know, sometimes it takes very long to do that. And sometimes it doesn't even work because the file are too big. This is the perfect purpose uh, of that share. So uh, share level is the lowest security level. The next one would be user level, which I'll show you in the next video. And then the other one, is uh, creating a PDC. This is also uh, user level, but we have to add some other information in the global sections and prepare some other stuff on that system, which I will show you later down the road. Okay, the next one is browsable. Browsable is set here to yes because we want to make this machine browsable on the network neighborhood so everybody can see it access it and knows it's there if you set that to no this machine won't show up in the network neighborhood <coughs> then the next one is name resolve order um, in my case i'm using a host file an elm hosts file the host file is basically uh, works as a uh, dns for that machine for this particular server it has ip addresses and their uh, um, names to it 
and the next one is Elm Hosts, which is uh, an old style of uh, Windows name res uh, Windows or Wins name resolution. So we don't uh, manage that one here, but I just put it in. And then this is the printer section. We disregard all that. You should know about this uh, from my earlier video. And then the first share we create here is in square brackets with the name share and path specifies where this share is uh, located on your system in this case it's slash SRV slash share common is also descriptive information about that shared folder and read only equals no means here that this shared folder is writable for everybody or it's writable and guest ok means it's accessible and writable for everybody all right so with that done we go ahead and save that and um, in order to make those changes work with Samba we have to reload Samba or you can also restart but I recommend if you do changes on it always reload because it's less destructive then a restart. A restart causes all the clients to get disconnected, the server stops and starts again, reads this new configuration and then allows all the clients to uh, connect back in. Uh, reload just rereads the configuration file without disconnecting all the clients. So all changes will be uh, delivered right away. <coughs> Alright, let's do that. For that we enter the command slash etc init.d and in this case, I have to use Samba because this is an older version of uh, Ubuntu. I think it's 904 or 910, which uses the Samba startup script. Um, if you're using a newer version, 10.04 or the 1010, it's, uh, it is uh, SMBD. But it's basically the same script, just uh, they renamed it. And then we just enter here, reload, and hit enter. And you can see here on the right hand side that the reload was okay. So that means all our changes are being applied to that machine. So, and you're probably asking, why would I restart that without knowing if all the changes are correct, that there are no typos in there? There's another useful command you can use to check your uh, syntax and configuration on the smbd uh, smb.com file. And the command is test farm and then just give them the location of your Samba configuration file. Hit enter and you can see it goes through the configuration and down here, this is important, it tells you load services file OK. That means this file is properly configured, no typos, no nothing in there, so everything is working fine. And the server rule is here standalone because we don't have a domain controller. You know, this is just a peer-to-peer, -peer basically, network. So, I hit enter, then it gives out a um, short overview over your configuration file. You know, all the settings we have set in that file, and that's basically it. So, now on Linux, you can go ahead and enter the command smb client dash capital L and the name of your uh, summer server. And then here it asks you for the root's password. Disregard that, it doesn't want to know a password. Since we use the guess OK equals yes uh, directive, it doesn't really matter. So just hit enter, and it gives you an overview about the Samba service running on that machine. Now, IPC DAR, and sometimes you will see also an admin DAR, those are administrative uh, shares. Um, we can access those. Those are um, meant to use for Windows machines interactively. Um, so we're not using this. So there's our share we just created.